Hi, I'm Holly, and contrary to popular belief, I actually am a fan of Marvel. And contrary to some people's beliefs, yes, I actually have read a comic book before, thank you for asking. I really appreciate that you're interested to know what I've been reading or what I've been up to. Now, Lego, much like my mother, are really big fans of Captain America. They've released a bunch of minifigures and a bunch of Captain America sets. I mean, besides one thing, and that is Captain America the First Avenger. Now, while I could sit here and try and make a mock and try and make a really cool set based around that movie, I thought I would try something else to sort of get myself some Captain America the First Avenger representation. Now, there are a lot of really easy ways in order to make a super accurate Captain America minifigure, but one thing that LEGO has never done and never will be able to do is make a frozen Captain America that comes complete in an ice cube. So today I thought I would help everyone out and freeze Captain America myself. Now, as a kid, I used to play a lot with my Lego. I would take them in the bath and I would put them in a car and I would literally roll that car down our driveway and all of these Harry Potter figures that are extremely valuable now would just sort of skid down onto the good old Tarket Road. But one thing that I never did do as a kid was throw a minifigure in the freezer. For some reason, that thought never crossed my mind, probably for a good reason. Now, a couple of months ago, upon my request, Lego very kindly sent me the good old 4 Plus Hydra whatever set. I'm, I'm not a four-year-old. I really just wanted this for the minifigures. So let's just kick out the motorcycle right now and take this beautiful Captain America figure that I feel like closestly resembles the one from the first Avenger. Now in my display as well, I have upgraded this figure and given him some Captain Carter legs and Captain Carter arms and just made him look all that glamorous. But in order to sort of freeze him, I did actually want to swap out his head and hair to actually make it look like Steve Rogers because when he went into the ice, of course, Chris Evans was staring directly at the little locket with Peggy and you could see that he was sad. I mean, of course, he's about to be frozen as well, so he sort of does need some shut eyes. So I did actually give him the Han Solo and Carbonite headpiece, which while the eyebrows are a tiny bit dark, I actually think this works quite well. Then for the hair, I just used the same one that Lego does and Captain America was then ready to be put on the ice. Now, yes, there was a part of me that was scared that this Lego minifigure was gonna be super fragile afterwards, but then I sort of comprehended it in my head. I was like, well, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just water, like really, really cold water. <laughs> So I thought if I just leave this container out in the sunlight just to sort of lie there and do literally nothing and just let it defrost, I should be okay. But I'm also detrimentally scared for Captain America's life right now. So I found this little container. I didn't want it to be too big because I wanted to sort of make Captain America sort of fit in the center. And he was just having a really nice casual swim and like a lounge around the pool. He was doing some flips and everything, just spinning around. Um, so it was kind of hard to actually get him centered and in the right position. Now also because of the end of the first Avenger slash like the throwback scenes in the Avengers, it did look like he was like considerably underneath like a level of ice. Like of course at the top, the shield was visible. So I did actually want to stack this in layers. So firstly, I filled up the container about halfway and just sort of left him there and then put him in the freezer and let him sit. That after a couple of hours, I did top that up just to sort of create another layer. And then a few hours later, I checked on him again. And unfortunately, I didn't quite include enough water last time. So I topped it up even more. And now he's been sat in the freezer all weekend and it's time to take out Captain America and actually see if this worked and also give him a little bit of a photo shoot to give you guys the most accurate and realistic Captain America first Avenger mock you will ever see. I really hope I didn't damage this figure because I do not want to go and buy all the parts again. So after several days, it is finally now time to check on him. So it's been a couple of days now. So let's take Captain America out of the freezer and set him free from the icy pain that he's been suffering with. We'll just film with my phone. Hello, Cap. Oh, there he is. Hello. Oh, man. Oh, here he is. Check him out. Oh, Cap. Poor buddy. Are you okay? Oh, my gosh. It's literally like got like ice steam. You know what I mean? <gasps> I love him. Look at that. Oh, it's so accurate. I need to take a cool photo. There is frozen Steve Rogers. Oh, dear. I really hope that this doesn't break the figure. I'm like kind of worried, honestly. Hello, Steve. Oh, don't you look great. I think I'm gonna have to leave him in here just so he can actually defrost and I can get my minifigure back. So that is Frozen Steve Rogers, Frozen Captain America, just like in Captain America, the first Avenger. Is this more accurate than anything Lego could put out? 
Oh, 100%. No, they're not able to freeze many figures in ice. Um, he looks fantastic. I just really hope he doesn't break now. I'm able to take the little thing out of the container. It's already like started to melt. Oh dear, it's dripping. Okay. So I'm just gonna leave him in this slippery container and I'll probably find him floating in like a pool of water later. But I'm really happy with how this turned out. I'm really happy with how he looks. I'll probably check on him as he defrosts and show you guys some progress of that. But it worked. I probably wouldn't recommend doing this with a lot of your minifigures um, at all. Just don't try this at home, but if you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed seeing Captain America, the most authentic version, First Avenger, then please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel down below. And until next time, Steve and I will see you later.